Hi and welcome to Crafting with Baker Ross. My name's Kate and today I'm going to show you how to use marbling effects on your projects. We're going to be using paper, like this, and some polystyrene balls too. For this project, you'll need a messy mat, marbling ink, a large plastic tub filled with water, an empty jar, some polystyrene balls, some blank white paper or card, and some wooden sticks. First, choose which ink you'd like to use. A combination of two or three different colours usually looks the most effective. I'm going to use yellow, green and red. Give each bottle a good shake, then add a couple of drops to the water. Don't use too much or the ink will take a lot longer to dry on your finished project. Once the ink is in, swirl it around with a wooden stick or you can blow on the surface through a straw to create a pattern. I'm going to start with a polystyrene ball. These look great for Easter. Push a stick into it to use as a handle, then dip it carefully into the ink, rolling it over to make sure it's completely covered. Let the extra water and ink drip off before popping it into the jar to dry. Don't let it touch anything else or the ink will come off. Take your paper and dip it into the water so it's completely covered in ink. It will be soaking wet, so hold it up and let the extra water and ink drip off before popping it onto a messy mat to dry. I'm going to add more different coloured inks to my water now to create a new pattern. As you can see, different inks give completely different effects, so it's great fun to experiment. And there you have it. Once they've dried, you'll be left with something like this. The paper is great for using on cards or cutting into shapes, and the balls can be hung from ribbon as Easter decorations. That's all we've got time for here today. We hope you've enjoyed this project video. See you next time. All the products used in this video are available from Baker Ross, and they're listed on screen now.